you ever need a, a just a hideout for anything, you can always go back there. I could tell you about. Uh, I could tell the guy about you. Tell him you're a friend. All right, and yeah, that sounds good to me, man. If I had any place to go, I mean, but I mean, I just really needed. To, you, know, you said you was gonna show me around. You haven't showed me around yet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I let you drive. Show me around. I I don't know where some of these places and whatnot. But yeah, no, I found like uh, a burger shot, and I found like uh, another bar, like a Rasta type bar or whatever, and then I found me a fucking car wash. That's about it. Okay, so okay, so, yeah. Which uh, the burger shot up there, up there by the highways? Yeah, the one by the highways, and then there's like a car wash over there in the bar. Yeah, the car wash can be kind of hectic. Oh yeah, I would. I went back in there. If you ain't got your pass, then they're they're freaking screaming. Yeah, I went. I went there. The guy told me to drive around because these people don't have their passes. But luckily, this one has it in the window. Gotchas, gotchas. So he told me to dr drive past them, and I did. We're gonna say screw traffic right now. But yeah, as you see to the left, you got the uh, carnival area and all that. So if you ever want to. Fancy yourselves out to a carnival ride on the on the screamer up here. You can come here and take a left, and you go up towards the boardwalk, and then you even got yourselves a bowling alley over there, oh, and nice. a little small a little small shops for knickknacks or whatever you whatever you is people's likes. Oh shit! There's a go kart track over here. It says yeah, something like that too. I think they just put that in not too long ago. I'm not I'm not too familiar. Too familiar. I don't I don't do the games and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. But, uh, if you come down here, it's, uh, let's see, uh, uh, you come down here, and I think there's a, there's a little shop right here where this car is. Oh, yeah, there's a, oh, that's a porn shop. Yeah, there's can... a little, porn, there's a little porn shops over here. He's, he, he runs, he runs some stuffs out, out of the backs. My, uh, my, 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 my brother that lives in a different state, he would love this place. He loves porn, man. I don't know why. You got your you got your own selections and stuff like that. Oh, whatever, shit. you can come back here. To, uh, Timmy Two Tongues over here owns the place, and then he he sells other boxes of goods back here. He sells uh, fireworks, coffees, any things that you like. He can get his hands on. Oh, any anything black market, he he can get his hands on. Hey, yo, Timmy. Yeah, this is Nicky right here. If 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 he ever needs anything, he's on my dime. Kabish, okay. So, Oh, shit. Yeah, my brother would love to be on the dime here. He'd probably want to live here. Oh yeah, he, he's got a problem. He, he he's got a problem. Brothers into that stuff. Yeah, I went to his house one time back in California. I want to. Oh shit. Yeah, but no, I went to his house one time in California, man, and I went to go watch a movie with him because he watched that movie night, so we got some weed wet night, and we got some munchies, and we're chilling out and shit, and fuck, literally, like, everything on his TV guide, all of his VHSs, all of his fucking Blu-rays, his regular DVDs, everything, just no All porn, huh? All porn. <laughs> all fucking well, porn. Hey, it sounds like he's got a problem, but uh, hey, man, whatever, whatever he likes, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's what I said. And I, I even asked him. I said, "Hey, man, I was like, can I, can I switch the channel? I'm trying to find a movie." And he said, "Yeah, here's a movie channel." Let's see, right here, you got the theaters. Theaters. Uh, Stevie, Stevie G owns the theater. He's a part of the uh, the Ancelotti families. Oh, they've yeah. got uh, they've got a little shows here. They do whatever. They got drag shows. I'm not too I'm not too big of a fan. They got the shows back there. They got a full ball over here, so you oh, can shit. Shit. order whatever you want. Hell, you could even talk about it on maybe opening up the bar here because I know they're looking for some workers and part time owners. And then in the office wing back there, they do some illegal betting and stuff like that, some whatnot. Oh, shit. Yeah. And then, uh, Let's see. Maybe back he is. You've got the basements. Oh shit, what's in the basement, man? Nothing right there. Oh, I think, it, I think I, it's a private dressing room. Yeah, it's private dressing. And then you got the lounge back here. This is where all the fun stuff happens. Uh, the documents, the forgeries, the uh, make uh, unmarked bills, the counterfeit cash, and all that stuffs. 
And just whatever you want to do. So. Yeah. Then I think you got upstairs in the back. You come up here. I think this is uh this could be another exit. Yeah, it's another exit, so it's a it's a quick escape if you gotta get the fuck out of here oh, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you never know when I'm gonna need that. Yep, yep. It's on this little place and it's got a stage. If you, if you, yeah, it's got a stage for the shows and whatnot and Usually, usually the people like to do their fancy dining over here and whatnot and everything. Yeah, this, this place looks fancy. Too fancy for me. Yeah, tell the meats. A plate of food is just like 150 bucks. Oh, yeah, that's outrageous. Yeah, you're telling me. Sometimes you might see that Roman cat up in there every now and then. He likes he likes to see the show girls. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, you ain't, if you ain't got no uh, washing machine and dryer over here to your left, if you look, you got the laundromats. Oh, is, mm -hmm. is it open? Because the last one I've, I went to that I found when I was going to Percy's, when you told me the address to go get new clothes, there was no machines yeah. in there. Uh, yeah, this should be open. I don't know if they got the machines in here or not, but... Uh, yeah, see, this is what the last one looked like, and the and hey. the, and these guys that were sitting here said that they're they're working, but they're taking a break. Yeah, they uh they usually come you you push your clothes, and then they come back here, and then they I don't know sometimes they they take them upstairs up that way or whatever, and somehow and then they go wash them up there or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather wash them myself. I don't want someone touching my belongings. I understand. Yeah, me too. It's Shit, I might, I might, I might, hey, I, get back to works. You need, you guys need to finish working on this bar, but yeah, fucking, I'd fucking probably give him my clothes and either have some socks missing and only have like a few left here that are missing or whatnot, or some drawers, you know. Yeah, you never know. So you know, there's weirdos out there that like like to steal people's clothes. Yeah. Hey, what if I ever, what if I ever got to use the internet, man? Right here is actually since she's talking about it. Oh. Right here. If oh, you shit. walk walk across the street. Ah oh, shit, they got a computer shop out hey, here. Watch out, I'm walking here. Hey, watch so out, we're walking here. here. So if you ever gotta get on the twatas, the the the, the book faces, the uh the space of the mice, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, you can hop on the computers, just tell old uh Peggy over here that you need a computer and pretty much and the passcode is like zero one zero one. I don't know if they really have anything in the back. I don't think they do. No, they don't. But yeah, all the computers and uh, they 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 log your time or whatever. And you gotta but pay when you leave, whatever. Yeah, you gotta pay when you leave. But and they got a little coffee shop right here too. Oh, so, shit. And, so and fresh donuts every morning. I come over mm. here and get. The, I, I come over here and get the blueberry uh, blueberry pastry and the, and, and the apple fritters. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Yep. Shit, California doesn't even have a fucking computer shop. Our nose. Yeah, you, that, gotta use, you gotta use your phones, huh? You just gotta use the phones, and it would be cool yeah, to yeah. be able to go on a computer, you know? Oh, shit, yeah, we this... all, we all, we all pretty much have the flip phones shit, out here. someone hit my know? van, man. I see that, son of a bitch. Shit. And that's gonna be another ticket I get later on when I get pulled over. Make sure you ask for that badge number too. Yeah, I might have to, man. Uh, can't really go. Uh, sometimes they, and they like to stay closed and whatnot, but uh, there's a little, as you see, a grocery store right up in here. Oh yeah. Uh, Swish Pizza is right behind us too. It's not. It's not open half the time. Oh damn. Yeah, well, I want that Luminati's you've been talking about, man. Oh yeah, yeah, Illuminati's. Uh, I gotta remember what that's at, cause there's a couple different locations. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you find it, I know that this place is really big. Yeah. But whenever the you... city is pretty big, man. Yeah, but yeah. whenever whenever you find it, you just you know send me a message, you know. Well, for sure. Let's see. I think there was something over here. I guess I can't remember. Oh, oh yeah, you got, you got the clucking bells oh, right shit. here. There's too. a clucking yeah. bell. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, I'm gonna have to order something. But... Yeah, you got a clucking bell. I'm, I'm actually kind of hungry myself. So. Yeah, they we don't. I mean, we we got them in California, but they're all closed for some reason. Yeah, yeah, they're open here. 
Oh shit. Alright, man. Oh shit, this menu. Oh mm -hmm. shit, you got better shit than fucking Burger Shot, man. That's all we have in fucking Cali is Burger Shot. I don't know where they got rid of the clocking bell. It's. Oh shit. Hey, what the fuck? Get out of here. Ah, somebody sucking dicks back here, man. Get out of here. Oh shit. Uh, I want to take a, uh, yeah, shit. Yeah, Fuck. I, I know, I know, I know it kind of seems like, I know this kind of seems weird, but can I have one of everything on the menu? Yeah. Uh, not the meals, like, not the meals, just like the sandwiches. Because I got a fridge at home and, I, and then it'll be just be easy for me to fucking throw it in the microwave. Hey, right, yeah. Shit. Alright. Just gotta wait for my food to come out. Fuck. Yeah, let me get the, uh... Let me get the, uh... Hey, hold on. Uh, hold, hold on, sir. We're trying to make the... We we got... We're, we're busy. We're slam-packed. This guy fucking ordered yeah, everything hey, on the menu. I'm fucking order in here. Just I, fucking I, I, write I, it down. And we're fucking trying to cook this I, old man's food. Fucking write it down. Fucking write it down so, what I want. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Write it down, write it down. So I want balls and rings. Okay, the rings and balls. Yeah, oh, and then uh, give me the clucking huge. The huge and clucking. Yup, yeah, yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. And then let me get and let me get two sprunks. Okay, sprunks too. You got you got that right? Yeah, I I, I got that. All right. And have it ready when his is ready. Gabish. Yes. All right. Well, no problems here. All right, we won't have no problems. Lovely weather we're having out today. It is lovely weather, man. That guy's fucking rude. Yeah, he is kind of rude. Wait a minute. So you just gotta, you just gotta talk to him uh, the way you you wanna approach yourself. Hey, I mean, I'm looking at the counter right here. You know that paper that the guy you told him to write? It, it, it's blank. What? It, it's blank. He didn't write nothing down. He didn't write your order down. Hey, you didn't bring my orders down. Oh, uh, I, uh, uh, yeah, I, I got your order. You said you wanted the uh, the. Hey, why, why, you said why, you, why, why does it say it's blank on, on on this paper over here? No, no, you said that you wanted the uh, you wanted the squares and uh, the clicks and the two colas nope, and. Nope, nope, I, nope, nope. Okay, all right. This is how we're gonna do it, so Okay. All right, come over here. Come over here. All right, all right get your get your hands hey, off me. I right, now get get get, get, get now get now get. Oh shit! All right. All right, lady. Do you know what I want? You want the two sprunks, the balls, and the chicken, and I forgot what else. I'm scared. All right. All right. That's exactly what I wanted. Now hurry the fuck up, and I'll give you double. Okay. Okay. Here's your guys' food. It's done. Just take it. Just. Hey, shit. This is a big bag. You ordered a lot, sir. Yeah, but you couldn't. Get... What the fuck, man? This is a lot. How am I supposed to carry it? You didn't even put it. It's all brown paper bags. I don't got like twelve hands. Fucking Thank give you. me a bag. Here, give me, give me one of them bags. Yeah, here you go, man. All right, all right there we go. So, all right, right, grab hey, the hey, rest. Hey. All right, good. Let me get my sprunks. Hey, if anyone's oh, no. oh, oh, we're not paying either since y'all motherfuckers want to. And I want to let anyone know that's in this fucking building. If you could fucking hear me, you saw nothing. You see nothing. Understand? That's what I fucking thought. I like this guy's. He's he's catching on. Yeah, yeah, pull a little forward, man. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm learning pretty quick. I heard what you said there. I gotta learn, man. I mean, people are being assholes. Alright, and so and here we are, since right here, tools. So if you ever need any ammunition, anything else with guns, Benny inside oh, here's uh, Benny inside here's a pretty good dude. Oh shit! This looks like the places we have in California, man. Yeah, Benny in here's pretty good. Hey Benny, hey, yo, it's Angelo. This is uh, this is my new friend Nikki. Hey, what's hey, going on, man? If he ever needs anything, man, you could you, you, you hook him up. Are you heard? Ah, uh -huh, All right, man. I gotta yeah. go back to clear this guard, you know, because the the the, 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 the guy came and he's paying me money to clear the guard. You know? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, oh, what, what? He, he, I just I just gave uh, I just gave him the uh, the combat pistol. Uh, he he probably needs a cleaning. Oh, and don't forget to give him a couple hollow point rounds too. Oh, hey, is there, you need your guns cleaned? I clean the guns. Yeah, here you go. Here, here you, you go, go, man. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. On the table, there you go. There you go, man. Yeah, just clean it. There you go. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna clean the guns, you know, and then I'm just gonna. Hey man, hey man, we we could drop it off, and uh, I'll I'll take up my backup pack if you if you got it back to us, and then uh, the other two guns back. Yeah, there, yeah right? we got your backup pack right there, so you just right. go pieces right. pieces up, you know, you know. All right, you, here we go. I, I, hey, you said there's a Nick here. Yeah, I mean, he's Nick. Oh, you're not know, bringing their pigs around, did you? Because we don't do it to cop around here, you know. Oh no, no, he he's good, he's good. See, he's, uh, he's, he's good. Having, he's, he's good. Yeah, he, yeah, he's been ah. having problems. He's been having problems with the uh, the Albanians and the Russians recently. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah. That, that that's who that they did came here threatening me for money yesterday. I tried to call oh, yeah. you, and you well, did come protect me. Well, I, I mean, I was I was busy. I was on another job, so I'm sorry. Ah, oh, oh, damn. Like, you know what? I, I'll make it up to you if you ever need any drinks or anything like that. A good meal. Nicky, here's your guy down uh, down the block at Vlad's old place. He uh, he runs the bar down. Oh, yeah, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, did you get the smoke out of that bar yet? Because I don't like going to a bar. Was, but nah, nah, it didn't get the smoke yet, man. It it's just... all right, but uh, I think I think I'm gonna have him branch out. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into another boss pretty soon. So he's he's gonna have another place, or he might run too. I don't know. So, so uh, yeah, well, that, well, you know, you all better be careful because I think that black guy pissed. And I thought something about he going bankrupt now. And apparently, he's going to do oh. anything for what he told me. Anything seems necessary to get the bar back. So well, the, said, motherfucker, the motherfucker's retired anyway. So nah, he, he said he's he getting. Out, he said he get out of retirement. He bought a bunch of guns with like six dudes there, all wearing masks and whatnot. And they, well, they, you, they, know, well, you know what's going to happen if he fucking tries to come back though. Well, uh, he told me he's getting his bar back, and he's going to take care of that guy who bought it. Oh, yeah, yeah. If he tries anything with my new friend Nicky's here, he's he, he, he's going to be sleeping wait, with wait, the wait, fish. Wait, wait, you said he's going to fucking try to come kill me? Well, yeah, uh, he knows where you're there, but he, uh, apparently he said that he, he you left your keys out on the bar table one day. His buddies came in, and they, they made copies. They got copies of your car and uh, well, copies of your house. All right. Well, in that case... I know where he lives, so I guess I'll have to pay him a visit. So. Oh, shit. I, that scares me out, man, especially in the neighborhood I live in. It's all right, Nicky's. Don't worry. I'll pay old, I'll pay old Vlad a visit. He, he he won't be making no noise. Hey, give me my guns now, Benny. Come on. Hey, he got me. I heard your guns, man. All right. Thank you, boys. All right. I'll just have a good one, man. No, right, no, Benny, no, no. I'll, 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 I'll see you this Saturday for the poker game, all right? I don't, no, 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 don't, don't, don't 3D glass in the car. Don't look into the cards. No, I'm not looking through the cards. That was, uh, that was Jimmy. I, I that's what you said. Have a go on. Fucking, fucking Benny. He's a character, man. He, he sounds he like, like a character. He, he likes to think. He, he, he says, he bites off more than he can actually fucking chew. He looks like he came down from the south. Yeah, he's, he's a southern fella. He's from like, uh, he's like from Alabama or some shit, I don't know, some fucking uh, sister fucker town, whatever it is. Oh shit, Alabama, man? Yeah, man. I mean, that's what they say, I don't know if it's true, but... He, he, he's, he's something different, but I, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't judge, but he's a good guy. Hey, I'm scrolling through my phone and it says there's a location, there's a bar around here? Oh, it's, yes. Yeah, it says if you turn around... That's what I'm. That's what my phone's saying, and then you're gonna make a right up here at this road. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I'm new out here, but yeah, apparently you make a right up here and then make another right. Make another right, huh? And it's like down at the end of the street. The phone says the Google says it's down at the street towards the left. That's where? Oh, right here, man. Oh, the uh, the old Mexican joints. Okay, okay. So, yeah, that, uh, that's what the Oogle says. Okay, okay. Yeah, it said it, it said this bar's up for sale. It says. Oh, we're not supposed to park here, so, but okay. So. That's all right. We're not gonna be here for long. No. Fucking pigs. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not too familiar who runs this joint. Uh, I think I've only been here a couple times. So. Yeah, it says in the Google that this place is up for sale. I wonder what it looks like in here. 
Oh, hey, look at that. Oh. Blarney's show. Ah, Blarney's. I used to sell that back in uh, California. Ah, that's the sign they had, too. Oh, shit. Fuck. This bar's hey, nice. And there's no smoking. Blarney. It said Blarney's Irish Pub. Oh, okay. shit. Oh. Who is that a picture of? Oh. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Uh, why? Who's that? That's, uh... What's his fucking name? Uh... God damn it, it's, uh... One of the McCreary brothers. Oh, the McCreary brothers. Jimmy, Jimmy McCreary, and he's got his brother, Packy. They like to rob banks and shit. So. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what the fucking guys were talking about when they had me at gunpoint telling me to get back to my house. That's being curfew. They said that we'll go get the Mc, the, the Patrick brothers or whatever. Yeah, they said. fucking Irish dudes, man. They, they're, they're just nothing but fucking loud mu mouth muscle and shit, but they... They like to they like to hang out with that buddy Nico and Roman and shit, but oh, yeah, they're all, they're all fucking talk. But it, I I got a pretty decent uh, fucking with uh, Kevin McCreary, so I could probably talk to his old man about this bar for you. Yeah, this seems better than the other bar. Yeah, and it's not smoky either. I mean, oh, yeah. you got a you got a busted up TV, but that could always be fixed. Yeah, I could fix that. That's fine. But yeah, I mean, hey, I mean, it's a little bit of a drive, but and then plus you got you got a nice little outdoor eatery here too. So in hey. case you ever want to buy yourself some tables and whatnot, hey, this would probably be better than the bar that I own now. To be honest with you, yeah, to be honest with you, maybe, maybe the so, location, yeah. the location, yeah. all the, the location. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, this part of the city is actually a little bit better. It's there's it's this kind of mutual turf right now. So I mean, nothing really happens over here. So. Yeah, that's good. I'd rather prefer that than where I'm at. I got people coming to rob me left and right saying that I owe them money. There might be an apartment around the corners if, uh, let's see, I mean, we could always, if it's owned by the same people, we could always check. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure. I, I mean, you would probably know more than I do out here. I just looked at my phone and I was like, oh shit, dude, it says there's a bar around here. Let's see, let's see. It's not to the right. I think it's to the left. Well, oh, if you ever need to go to the bank, it's right here on. It's right here on the left. Uh, on to your right, right here, the Fleeca. Oh yeah, we have those out in California, man. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I could have swore there was an apartment over here. I don't know if there is one or not. I'm not oh, sure. My phone's not on. saying there's anything for sale around here besides that bar. Yeah, I don't think there's anything right here, so. But yeah, I mean, if if not, it's not too much of a drive. Nah, so, it's not much of a drive. Oh, you know, by the way, there's a nice little basketball court over here. The young kids like to come over here and play play some games and a couple games of horse and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, I know there's a basketball court by the house I live, but I heard like some kids got shot there last week. Oh man. Later that same evening. Yeah, but as I was talking about, man, I'm trying to find like a fucking place, you know, like so I don't have to kill someone where I could box them. Okay, hold on. So, uh, I gotta make a quick stops. I'll be right back. So watch the cars. Yep. And yeah, watch the cars. Sit out here. It's fucking nice out here. Just I don't know why everyone's fucking screaming though. All I did is pull out my gun and put it back in my fucking other pocket. Didn't fucking shoot it. Monies. Oh. No. No, Ancelotti. No, is, is. Don't give a shit. No, I need him right now. Yeah, right now. Motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Well, say hello to my little friend. Fuck. 
fucking say hello. Oh shit, oh shit. Now, that's a good reason for them to be screaming. I'm just used to it, so I'm not screaming. Reminds me of California, man. I'm in the bands. We got a goose. We got a goose. All right, man. I think so much. You shot the back fucking brake light out, man. What was that all about, man? I had to pick up some money, so it didn't go well. Ah, fuck. Yeah, somebody See, owed somebody owed the family. Man. They see, didn't want to pay. See, that's why you need a place where you could just go box someone and then I had to kill him, you know? Yeah. But. I know. I actually, I do know a place. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's, that's a fucking civ right there. Yeah. Oh, shit. That, that car is fucking speeding. I do know a place, but I gotta get out of that area because it was a little hot. Yeah, I feel ya. I think you went down the wrong way again, but that's fine. You're only going one way, right? Yeah, I was, I was thinking, because, uh, an old buddy of mine used to run a underground club, and uh... yeah, because I know back in California, there's these bikers I know, and they allow me to like come to their place and box in their ring, you know. Right, right. So what we could do? We come over here to this corner. So I'm gonna hop out. We're gonna kind of move in and move out pretty quick. That way, nobody sees us. Yeah, should be back his. Yeah, I know okay. a guy named uh, Marcus. He used to run it. Uh, what's his last name? Uh, say Van Dam. Uh, uh, Van Dam. I want to say. Oh, that's not good. What do you mean that's not good? Sir? That's the guy that's trying to kill me and my my brother. Marcus Van Dam. Yep. The guy from the guy from Cayo Perico. Yep. And when I was getting driven out here, yeah, I, get out of here. And when no I, way. And when I was getting driven here by the first guy that was in the plane that was driving through, like literally through New York, through the buildings, and almost it, it was like kind of like 9/11 almost type deal. But he was sitting there saying, he was like, uh, if, <coughs> let me see if I can get the voice. <coughs> <clears throat> he was saying, Kai Perico, man. He was like, Marcus Van Dam. He was like, go, Kai. And I said, no, I said, I said, I said, New York. He said, no, Kai, Kai Perico, Marcus Van Dam. He was like, okay. you want it. He's looking for you. Okay. <clears throat> uh, shit, that hurt my voice, man. I never do stuff like that. Fuck. Well, as far as I know, he doesn't own it no more, but he used to own it. And they, they started like hitman fighting kind of club and. He was uh he was a military he was a military black op trained in special forces and stuff so he knew hand to hand combat and they came down here and just built this big ass cage oh, and started shit. beating the hell out of people. Oh shit! You got like a little stage people could play music while there's fighting going on. Yep. Oh shit! Fuck! What's over here? Oh shit! What the fuck? Yeah, you had your uh, you had your uh, back back room area over here and they came and they came through. Oh shit! Like an entrance way or whatever. Sometimes they did shows. Yeah, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like those uh, boxing fights you seen on TV. You know, they play the music and the boxers walking out to the ring. Yeah, yeah, the uh, fight leagues or whatever the oh, hell it shit. is. Oh it's over here. Oh shit! A nice little chair. Oh, they got some chairs over here too. It's fucking nice and. But yeah, Nikki, uh, what's, what's your God's honest issue with Mr. Van Dam? I need to know. I to mean... Continue, to continue this partnership. I mean, technically, I mean, I mean, 
I was selling weed for him with my brother, and we left, and we decided, you know, after a while, we're done with that bullshit, and we we quit, and then he got upset because we stopped selling drugs, but it wasn't because that we didn't want to. We always went to jail for it, and he never he, he never said he was sorry. He never bailed us out. He just left us there to rot for months and months and months, and we get out, and he would say this bullshit oh i'm sorry guys but i need you to do me another favor and he'd make us sell more drugs and we just kept on getting caught and you just hey there wow it gets tiring man you keep on going back to the slammer and he would always tell us now nah, i got you guys' back but he never had our back one thing i've learned from mr van dam when i've i've visited him he's a very bad businessman he doesn't know how to do business properly he doesn't know how to handle his uh, his men uh, trying to make transactions and stuff like that, but uh, I tell you one and one thing he's good at is finding people. He's oh, yeah. good at finding. He's good at finding people. Yeah, he found my brother. Had him kidnapped, and he was threatening to give him money, like uh, like not even like four or five months ago, man. Wait a minute. Who was your brother? Was it was it Mr. Cheese? Uh, yeah, Mr. Cheese, man. Oh, okay, okay. I thought I, I thought I heard about that a while back, but okay. Yep, and he, he had him kidnapped, and he was threatening for money, and I gave him the money, and he still didn't give me a brother back. And apparently, the cops found him, and the cops took care of him, and beat him up in a garage. Apparently, uh, sounds like Marshalls. Yep, and then they took care of him, and then they said that we would never have to deal with him again. But then when yeah, I was on the plane he's ride, supposed to be rotten, fucking. One of the valley of prisons right now. Hopefully. Yeah, but, but then when I was on the plane ride, that whoever gave me the first ride, he just kept on saying, Guy up Rico, Marcus Van Dam, he's like, he's looking for you and Dicky, you guys are gonna die. And then he said, Paco and Tuco dead. Huh. And who was this, the guy that gave you a ride before you met me? Uh, yep, yeah, because uh, it was a two, a two charter flight, apparently, from what Paco and Tuco told me. And then uh, when I was getting on the ride, he he was mentioning Paco and Tuco, and he, he kept on saying Guy Perico, and he kept on saying Marcus Van Dam, and he said they're dead. And I'm like, nah, they're not dead. He's like, Marcus Van Dam killed them, they're dead. And then I'm like, nah, then nah, there's no way that they're dead. And he said, yeah, they're okay, dead. Paco Orocho? Yep, and, uh, and then Tuco Guerrero. Oh, man. I don't know about Tuco Guerrero, but... I I did hear, right about the time that you were coming in, I did hear something bad happen to Paco. Oh, sh that's not good. Yeah. Well, I mean, he would, him and, uh, he, 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 he had a cousin. I, I remember back in the day, it was, uh, him, and, uh, Paco, and Flacco. Uh, pa uh and, uh, I think Flacco Arroyo. Something like that. Oh uh, yeah, back uh, back they, they, back they, when I lived in California, man, I heard someone about that. The cops shot yeah. him point blank at the driver wheel. Yeah, yeah, at his fr uh, at his doorstep or some shit like that. Yep, that's what I, I that, uh, that's what I read in the news. I was like, that's messed up. Yeah, yeah. they uh, they they profiled him or whatever because it, it was something that Paco actually did, and it wasn't it wasn't Flacco, it was Paco, and they looked so much alike, but they. Because Paco killed a cop or whatever, so they killed fucking his brother. Oh, so, that's yeah. messed up, man. Yeah, but I don't know. Something happened with the. Uh, I know Mr. Van Dam's got some decent connections, even though if he's inside prison or whatever. But I could have swore I heard something happen bad to Paco. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's that, what that's what guy. He said Paco and Tuco are dead. He said he got to tell me dead, and he said Marcus Van Dam looking for you and Dicky. And he kept on telling me he was going to fly me and take me there. I told him no. And he said, no, no, Guy Brico, that's where we're going. Guy Brico. Oh, that's not good. And then I said, Paco and Tuco, they chartered a flight and got two people that are trusting. And he's like, no, 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 not trusting. He, he kept on saying, Guy Brico, you, you dead. He was like, Van Damme, he wants you dead. Yeah, I don't, I don't sound too good. Oh shit, no it doesn't. Oh. Yeah, those fucking Albanians are right. The cops don't even like the patrol out here anymore. No man, they uh they they they, they don't like too too much. But it's, yeah. It seems like the city's just run down and ro ruled by the gangs, you know? Yeah, it's I mean when you've got multiple damn gangs around here, it's kinda hard. It's yeah. like 
Oh, we're coming up on one of them now. It's the old Lost MC Clubhouse. Oh, shit. Yeah, we have the Lost. Well, we used to have the Lost in there, but... There... Do, you, do, you remember, do you remember... Uh, Did you ever hear about a Johnny Clevitz and Clay? Oh, yeah. He he died by this old guy named Trevor and Sandy that, yeah, that yeah. lived by me. Well, they, they, he... they, built, they built this clubhouse right here. They were from Liberty City. Oh, yeah, damn, yeah, fucking, there's an old guy that used to live next door to me, which he doesn't live there anymore, he, he's the one that apparently, the, he saw the motorcycle club guy, and he, I don't know, something with a boot or something, and I don't know, I wasn't there, but then, it just, right, right in front of, right in front of, like, his buddies and whatnot, in front, and they saw it all and witnessed it. Heard he smashed, smashed his face in or whatever. Yeah, it, it was scary, and then they put a in his head or something and I was like that's fucked up yeah this place is yep. a little run down but it's not bad got a lot of room though it does got a lot of room and you got a couple and you got a bar here you got the main bar downstairs it, yeah I mean if I had but, any if I could have any customers come here this would be a place I'd want to get oh yeah man this would actually be a decent club like like you could make it into a club if you uh, I, I, I'd, I'd turn upstairs to VIP and there'd be like illegal gambling and like the main oh, bars yeah. and the main bars downstairs yeah yeah. so that way if like cops come like they're not let up there they're not a VIP member you know right that makes sense see you, you are kind of smart Nikki yeah I mean I try to think no, you're, you know. not, you're, not, you're not too bad for an old man I mean, my brother Dickie started smoking the weed before I did, so he lost more brain cells growing up before I did. So, I mean, he, he's the one that got me into it afterwards, but that's before he lost too many brain cells. So I was able to develop a little in my teenage years, where he, he just, in his teenage years, just took all those brain cells and got rid of them. But I'm, I, I'm not saying it's a bad thing because weed's good, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I tell the cops that all the time. I'm not never stop doing that. Like other drugs, sure. If they're gonna keep on getting me for it, sure, I'll fucking quit that shit. But weed, there's nothing wrong with weed. No, not at all. That's why. And down here, down here, one of my favorite places to go. You got the strip club. Oh shit, my brother would love this place. He, as I told you earlier, he's a sex addict. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, this, is the, this is the bigger version than uh, the one and uh, the one I think I showed you last week. Yeah, yeah, you showed me the one last week, and you said there's people in there, but yeah, I didn't see anyone in there. Hopefully, there's people here. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, it's, it's a little empty. Yeah, a couple. Ah, uh, there's a couple there. people. Yeah, there is some people in here. The last part, there was none. But I, I I like that, that how they got the big ass bar right here. Yeah, it's around the whole entire like dancing shit. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's going on, man? I I walk on out my damn back car out of the car and all. Goddamn fucking southern people again, man! Why nice the fuck shit. are they all out here? Oh, uh, you got you, you got a scooter out there? I just want to hear a rant. A, a scooter? No, I, I ain't got a scooter. Oh, we went back. We gotta go make a delivery. I know, I ain't got a scooter, man. Oh, no, 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 no Oh, by the way, what's your oh, why not be a car? Oh yeah, I need uh, I need that. I'll go ahead and give me some of that. No oh, shit, nice to meet you, Big yeah. Kurt. Yeah, shit, hey fuck. yo, hey yo, Chauncey, do you, you you know them people that's uh that that owns the cookie shops? Yeah, I got a I got a possible lead on uh, uh some uh, someone might be selling it. Yeah, if you could point me in the right directions. I, I, everyone, come on, come on. Yeah, that's their van. I think, I think the guy that robbed, robbed us for robbing that guy at the bar. I think he's in here. I, I think he's in here. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Where you at? Where you at, dude? They're get in the back. The, get in the back. Get in the back. Those guys are here again. They, they, they found you. They, oh shit! Oh shit! Fuck! I never seen a fat guy like that run so fast. 
There you go. Pass me the other. Pass me the shotgun. There you go, man. Here's the shotgun. Moving in. Oh shit, there's lots of dead bodies out here. I think that was the guy that was talking shit, although I think that was Big Kurt, though. But we gotta get out of here, niggas. Yeah, shit. We gotta head back. Yeah, hey, shit, take me home, man. I think I'm ready to call it a night. I think you should be enough. I've seen a lot of cool places, but... It, it, few of the places you went to it just it went crazy really quick and what's up with yeah. these southern guys that keep on moving down to fucking New York man I have no clues I mean the last guy seemed pretty cool he, he was at a club and he was offering to buy me like uh, have you ever heard of anything called moon wings the sausage yeah yeah I, I, we don't got that in California oh no no yeah. Wait, he was, they, uh, it's uh, it's uh, like a eastern midwest thing and then he was talking about I mean I never heard this place before but don't, don't get me wrong I'm saying it right but he said he said it just like there's an otter hey, well, what is that man I never heard of a place called otter uh, could barely understand yeah, him too I don't, know, I don't know what you're talking about man yeah, that's what he said, and he said he wanted to get in our car and come with us, and then he said we're going to get gas or something. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, I have no clues. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was just I was just asking, I, mean, I was going to ask the guy how he liked it here, but he didn't, uh, he kept on talking about other nonsense. Uh -huh. I was just going to ask him, like, hey, do you come here, like, often, and I was going to ask him, like, how's the service? Yeah, I love that we could F2 on this server. Mm -hmm. Oops, somebody's shooting. I am. <laughs> Not legit. Oh, what the fuck? No, you should leave the van like this, and you should pull off the highway and fly. Hey, you know how to get home from now, right? And go switch as that cop, and then this time I'm going to let you kill me, and then I'll RP that I got sent to a hospital. Alright, Mickey's. Hey, what's right, going on? I gotta, uh, I gotta make a few errands. I think uh, we're we're in the main city. If you keep going straight, you should be you should be close to home. But you you all right to make it home from here? Hey, I I think I got it, man. I should be fine. But this van's like kind of fucked up. But what if that cop pulls me over again? Oh, uh, you should be all right, man. If it, if you get a picture of his face or anything like that, let me know, and then uh, I, I, I'll I, I'll come to the rescue. All right, man. Well, you have a good one. All right, you too. Meanwhile, shit, what the fuck? Yeah, because I believe if you kill me, I can F2 and there's a hospital that I can RP that I went to. Evening, buddy. This is uh, one King 43 Bobby Johnson with the uh, Liberty City Patrol. You no reason for a stop today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's his vehicle, right, man? Yeah, it's uh, it's looking a little beat and banged up, like unroadworthy, bud. You got your license, registration, proof of insurance? Yeah, the name's uh, Nikki Flowers, man, with an N. Mr. Flowers, okay. Uh, what what happened to the vehicle here, bud? I was with my buddy. He was showing me around town. He was driving because, I mean, as you see, I'm new here. We went over, like, two bridges, so I would have been lost if I went over those bridges. But then, like, we got to a bad accident, and... And then the other guys took off, and the cops mm. and the cops told us over on the other side over there that well, there's really not much they could do. They said, well, I mean, it's a he said she said situation because you said they hit you, but they're gone, so there's no proof. And the cops saw it happen, but they said no, we didn't see nothing happen. So you said the cops saw it happen, but they didn't see nothing happen. Yep, and then my buddy told me that the cops do that around in the town we was at because we were by like a bunch of like 
gang areas and whatnot, and apparently he said the gangs run that, not the cops. What you're explaining to me is you're saying that uh, you, you were approached by some corrupt cops, or you're saying all cops are corrupt. Oh, that's what he said. I mean, I don't live out here, so I don't know if the cops are corrupt or not. Mm. Hopefully you guys ain't corrupt. Mm. And I know back in Indiana, the cops were corrupt. I got beat up in the south of my brother, and then they tried to claim that they didn't fucking do it. Oh. Hang tight, bud. I'll give you a chase. Yeah, shit. Dispatch, show me final stop is nine five five. Uh, on yeah. Pulse Street, and we're running Mr. Flowers, first name Nikki, clean, no warrants. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna pull him out for the unroadworthy vehicle. Alrighty. These ain't good. I might have to fucking. I don't want to go to jail. I might have to fucking run. Hopefully the cop just lets me out. I just live down the street. Well, unfortunately, I gotta pull this guy out. I'm Mr. Flowers. I'm gonna need you to step out of the vehicle for me. What's going on, man? Uh, unfortunately, this vehicle uh, this vehicle does not look roadworthy, so I'm gonna have to have you step out. Ah, oh, come on. I just live right down the street, man. I, uh, I get it, sir, but I'm going to have to have you step out of the vehicle so we can make sure everything is all prim and proper. So if I step out, I'm not going to jail, am I? No. Are you lying? It took you a second. No. I don't know. I don't, I don't trust you, man. Uh, sir, that's going to have to be a lawful order. Now, I'm going to need you to step out of the vehicle. Okay, well... I don't want to be blocking this crosswalk. Let me back up just a little. I think your car's oh. in the way. You, you, you're you fine there, sir. You're fine there. No, no, no. I'm not fine because I know I'd be blocking the crosswalk. Uh, so that... go, ahead and, go ahead and step out of the vehicle. No. Oh, shit. Sir. I think I just hit your car. Sir. I'm going to need you to step out of the vehicle. No. Sir. No. Sir. Shots fired, shots fired. One in pursuit. Oh shit. He ten fifty with another vehicle. He killed he killed the person on the mobile. Yeah, I was told by Nikki if I ever need any help. He told me where to go. And they'll take care of the cops. Going in for pit. Okay, tell me this moss house over here. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's this house right here. Stop! He, he told me that once I get in the yard, they'll take care of the cop. I just gotta get in the back. You guys got the cop, right? Yeah, take care of him. I've never been here. Yeah, it's Nikki from earlier. Thanks, guys. God damn it, man. I'm fucking lucky he ran on your property. I got all my property. What do you got doing here? We don't do no do cop around here. Uh, what? Fucking southern people. <laughs> I heard you say that. Southern people, yeah, we coming down here because we're a lot in New York and we're meeting a lot of good new friends and we're making a lot of acquaintances. So, so get out of here, fucking pigs. Hey, old Mickey, just gotta come on in. You're, you're all good. I, am, I, am I good? I come inside? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Come on in, man. You, you know we're good. We can take care of that cop for you. All right. I appreciate it. Man. Yeah, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to sleep and end it here, all right, man? I appreciate you letting me crash here tonight. It's better than being at that apartment. Hopefully, things will get better uh, and get, like, a new business or something. And get out of this fucking bad area. Hey man, Odalis. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's hey? Who are you? 
Hey, yeah, I, 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 I'm Paco Jr., man. Paco Jr.? Yeah. Wait a minute. Is your dad fucking Paco? Oh, my, my dad, he dead. He, he's dead? What do you mean? Oh, oh yeah, and, and his best friend, Tuco Guerrero, he dead too. What, what do you mean they're dead? Yeah, Holmes, they, 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 they're dead, man. Uh, apparently, uh, they were walking the streets, and then a black SUV came driving by, and pop, 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 and then they're both dead, man. Oh, shit. I mean, that's your dad you're talking about. Yeah, well, I mean, my dad dead now, and yeah, it is what it is. Oh, shit. Yeah. Fuck, I knew the guy. He was really close to me. Uh-uh. Oh, he's the fucking dead. Oh, shit. Alright, well. Fucking, I'm gonna go to bed. Later, guys. Alright, have a good one. Alrighty. That's where I'm gonna end it, ladies and gentlemen. So, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. With the story of Mickey and the crazy stuff that's happening outside. <laughs> And other than, uh, yeah, the story of Mickey and the story of Dickie and Coretti and all the bullshit that's going on. So follow along and stay tuned with all this thrilling a uh, action that's going to be taking place because pretty soon you're going to start seeing Dickie's side on his channel and you know, who, who knows what's going to happen on his side because I'm no longer there. So I have no idea what he's going to fucking do. For I fucking know he's probably gonna fucking get out of the fucking rehab like I told him and he's gonna get used and she's gonna play him and then fucking he's gonna be back on the drugs again. And I'm not gonna be there to give him the drugs so she can't fucking accuse me and say that it's fucking me when it's fucking not. But we'll have to find out what happens in this trilogy of the Mickey and Dickie and Coretti fucking whole bullshit scenario that got me to leave Scott Valley. I'll eventually come back in the future when he fucking gets his fucking mind straight and fucking sits there and realizes that she's a pig and she's just fucking using him. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you uh later. Firefly.